We've gotten a bunch of Drake news concerning his new album For All The Dogs over the past couple of days and weeks that I wanted to compile today to see where the status of the new album is at right now while Drake's on tour obviously. So let's jump straight into this. If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases make sure to subscribe and become part of this community. Oh and also go cop that fresh merch and listen to my new songs in the description. Real quick if you don't want to listen to this make sure to skip 10 seconds into the future but you can now sign up for my free newsletter with the first link in the description. It comes every Sunday and details everything that's been happening in hip hop over the past week so make Make sure to do that. So as you might remember, Drake announced a new album together with his poetry book, I think a month or two ago, where he rented out all these newspaper ads to promote this new album, where in the newspaper ads there was a link to a website to, you know, pre-order his book, get it, maybe you've gotten it, as I already said back then, I ordered 10 copies, I hope they get here pretty, pretty soon, but then on that website we also got the announcement that said, I made an album to go with the book. They say they miss the old Drake, girl don't tempt me, for all the dogs. So this whole, they say they miss the old Drake, girl don't tempt me, obviously, alludes to the meme that we're all very familiar with, because a lot of people have been criticizing Drake for not being the old Drake. But ever since he went on tour with 21 Savage for the It's All a Blur tour for her loss that they dropped back in November of last year, he's done a bunch of performances where he's given us more and more infos about this album. So we got to talk about this because there's been quite a bunch of stuff that's been compiling over the past couple of weeks. So first of all, we got to start with the fact that like two months ago, I think, or one or two months ago, we had a bunch of Drake songs leak. Now those leaks have been taken down from the internet in the meantime, but but there were three, four songs that were allegedly for for all the dogs, and those sounded R&B vibey. So again, the old Drake, the old Drake from the mixtape "So Far Gone," you know, "Thank Me Later," um, "Take Care," stuff like that that we always allude to when we say you know, miss the old Drake. So those leaked. So those might be on there, but we're not here to listen to the leaks, but we're going to continue with some more stuff like him live announcing that Nicki Minaj might be on the album while at a performance. And then Nicki, only like a day later, doubled back down on this with a tweet of a picture of the two of them from 10 years ago with the hashtag Dricky. So the you know, names of the two of them combined. So Nicki Minaj is likely going to be on For All The Dogs, which is a pretty cool announcement, because the last thing I, th I think we saw from Nicki and Drake was seeing Green with Lil Wayne. There was a pretty good, you know, reunion of the Young Money roster, so her being on there I think is a dub for any fan. We're going to continue with someone else that he might have on the album, which is J. Cole, because in Montreal, J. Cole came out on stage together with Drake, and actually this one is the other way around. Drake praised Cole, gave him a bunch of nice words, and then asked Cole if he, so Drake, could be on Cole's new album, which might be the fall off, whatever, put your theories in the comments what the next Cole album might be, but this is interesting because not necessarily on Drake's album, but if Drake is begging to be on Cole's album, we might also have a Cole feature on Drake's album. That's just something that I think would go hand in hand, but those two people are the only ones that so far we've kind of had any hints to as being on the album. Now I want to say, I think this only came out yesterday or two days ago, you might have seen this on social media, but he was live at, at a concert, obviously he's on tour, and then he said that, yo, I got a freestyle dropping tonight, and also an album in a couple or weeks or some shit, which is like the most inaccurate thing that you can say when you have fans waiting for an album release, but I guess this leaves us with a couple of options. Now, the first thing that we got to address is this freestyle that he had dropping, which is the uh, On The Radar freestyle together with Central C that you might have seen on social media. It, it hasn't dropped on DSPs, but it's up on YouTube. Definitely recommend you go watch that because love, you know, sh him showing love to Central C. I love seeing that. Also, I think both of them did the beat justice. They both did their thing on there. And he said that the album is coming in a couple of weeks or some shit. Well, look, here's the thing. I, I thought about this before the tour started, before they saw the Blur tour started. I had the theory that this thing would be dropping on June 30th. The reason being that either he drops this before the tour starts, that he has new material to play on tour, or he drops it after the tour. Now, the tour runs to, I believe... 
September 6th, something like early September, so only one and a half months still, and I think he could drop after that. Because in a couple of weeks could also mean while he's still on tour, but artists usually don't do that because that would be unfair to the people that bought tickets to the shows before he dropped the album because then the other people that go to the shows after the album release would get to hear this new album be played live while the ones that you know got it before they're just kind of stuck with the old music which is usually unfair so artists don't like to do that i don't know if drake is someone that likes to do that but i could definitely be seeing a release sometime around the same time that also clb dropped i think clb was september 3rd and if the tour ends september 6th he could be dropping right after tour that's at least what i'm thinking so far I don't think it'll be in August, even though I, I could see a release set of August. That would be the most obvious one, still having summer, still having that summer boost. But maybe Drake wants to go the fall route and drop September, October. October obviously being a very important month for him. Now that's all the, the clips that we've gotten from the concerts. And then I think also yesterday we've gotten these pictures of Drake leaving his hotel with a dog mask on. And I don't know, man. This is really... This is really not not it. This looks like some weird fetish stuff, but let me know your theories on what this looks like in the comments. But apparently he's already teasing at this theme of for all the dogs by literally putting a dog mask on his face while on tour while leaving a hotel. So that's another layer to this. Drake has also been pretty much on social media a lot in recent clips because he did that podcast where he's sitting in bed with this, what's her name? Bobby, I think. Bobby, that's the that, that blonde girl that does these podcasts that for some reason is not blowing up they did the podcast and you might have seen clips from that all over social media because those have been going around with drake um you know just being there in bed with her and talking to her which was kind of a weird setting but i'm definitely looking forward to listening to the entire podcast because it's i mean it's a reason drake podcast and while he's on tour so this was recorded before so maybe we can get some sort of more infos on this but it's only been out a day so if you have watched the full thing let me know the most important things in the comments i really appreciate that but that's it for the drake news so far definitely interesting as i said i could rather see a september or october release date for for all the dogs because while he's still on tour I just don't see him dropping that would just be unfair to the people that bought tickets for the shows before he dropped but he did say in a couple of weeks or some shit so however you want to interpret that interpret that I also find it pretty interesting Nicki Minaj being on there him wanting to be on J. Cole's project and the most recent freestyle was Central C I hope we get it on streaming at some point because I really like that and I think that could definitely be something that sells pretty well. But for now, that's it. That's all the Drake news. Let me know when you think this is dropping. Let me know how you feel about the all dog masks. Let me know how you felt about the leaks. Have you listened to them? Have you not listened to them? And why? All of your thoughts and your theories on this. Please let me know in the comments down below. If you watched this video to the end and liked it and you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button and go follow my social media and most importantly, join my discord in the description. Until the next one, we'll have an incredible day and y'all take care.